when I had my injury, unfortunately, we didn't have a peer support program in place. Um, it, there was peer support to some extent, but it was very informal. I look back now and I, you know, to compare the program now to what we had back then, it's out of this world now, the support that's available. I think not being able to tap into a network of people who are on your page. You know, when you talk to somebody who is a peer supporter, they've been there, they've done it, they know what you're going through, and they'll hold your hand to get out of it. And that, that is so powerful that not having a program like that in place is actually quite detrimental, I think, to the whole community for spinal cord injury, because as much as it's important for somebody who's newly injured, but the peer support program also, and the community that is around it, support existing people with spinal cord injury, because we all go through different stages in life, and there are new problems and new obstacles to encounter all the time. And so it's an ongoing need. It's not just something you need at the beginning and not having that program in place, I think would be a real, real tragedy.